Today I'm here in Hello Kitty Cafe to help you guys with the new Gudetama dress. I'm going to give you guys the ultimate guide to this dress and show you guys exactly how you can check off every single task and hopefully claim it as fast as possible. It is actually easier to claim than some of the other ones. It's still a little hard to claim, especially if you are newer to the game, but hopefully this guide will help you guys so you can claim it. It is a, such a cute dress. It is super adorable, and I would definitely recommend trying to get this one. There is four tasks you have to complete in order to get this dress. The first one is to get the fourth floor, and then you have to complete the Gudetama 003 blueprint and then you have to obtain 50 tickets and own 15 Sanrio characters. It sounds like a lot but you could probably get this done pretty soon. The main thing that is probably going to take you the longest is obtaining those tickets. If you don't have the fourth floor that might take you a while as well. First thing you have to do is get the fourth floor and you first have to have the first, second, and third floor. To get more floors the main thing I recommend is doing your blueprint. If you're new and you only have one floor, I would first recommend getting started by doing the very first blueprint. And you can go up here to the blueprint icon and the Hello Kitty ones are going to give you the most popularity and coins because you have to also do them to get some of these tasks. You get coins for doing the blueprints. So the blueprints are very, very helpful. I would recommend doing that if you are new. You wanna start off with the 001 blueprint and then you wanna go all the way up to your fifth floor with a 005. But that's the main thing I would recommend. If you have the second floor, you wanna do the second blueprint. If you have the third floor, do the third one. Since you're trying to get the fourth floor and you don't have the third floor, that is what you want to start with. You want to do a 003 on your third floor. Because to get this, you have to have 3,500 popularity and 5 million coins to unlock the fourth floor. To get the popularity, you will have to do the blueprints. The blueprints will give you enough popularity to buy the next floor. So that's what you want to do. Do the blueprints, complete them, you'll get your popularity. The next thing you'll have to do is get coins to buy your fourth floor, which again is 5 million coins. You do get some money for completing the blueprints, so you'll get a little bit from that, but you do still have to grind a little bit more for the fourth floor. So I would recommend just like AFKing, auto working, just work in your cafe, grind for more money, put down some tables, tables will help you a lot, but that's basically what you're going to have to do to get the fourth floor. The next thing you have to do is complete the Gudotama 003 blueprint. Again, you're going to go back up to your blueprints, go over here to Gudetama, and your 0031 is the one that says UGC event. It's clearly labeled, so you won't do the wrong one, and you want to do this one. The only thing about this is it's going to cost you a lot of diamonds and a lot of your coins. I think someone said it cost them like 8,000 diamonds, um, and that's probably because they didn't have a lot of the Gudetama stuff. Hopefully you have some of the Gudetama stuff, so you don't have to do that. But you basically want to do the UGC event, and you want to create blueprints and press OK, and then you will have to do it all. Again, hopefully you have the stuff because the tables and chairs are going to cost you some diamonds, but you just have to complete the blueprint. It's going to cost you coins, it's going to cost you diamonds, but it is worth it for this UGC. And it is a pretty cute floor too. This one is pretty adorable. To get coins, you're mainly just going to have to work and stuff. Again, probably auto-working, AFKing. If you work, you do get coins for actually serving people and things like that. I think the main things that cost the most is the hot springs and... The diamonds are the tables and chairs and the Gudetama statue that also costs some diamonds. But once you get it complete, you'll get that one checked off and you'll be a little bit closer to getting this next one. So I would recommend just grinding away and trying to get as much as you can. I've already done this before, so I have everything that I need for it luckily, but you just have to complete this blueprint to check that off and it will probably take you a while. It's taking me no time at all right now, but that is just because I have all the items. I'm going to complete this and then 
I don't have the task, but if I did, it would be checked off. There we go, construction complete. It'll take you much longer if you don't have the items, hopefully you do, but I'm pretty sure what costs the most is the tables and chairs, these ones. I think these might cost some diamonds. The Gudetama stuff, a lot of them do end up costing diamonds. To get diamonds, the main thing you're going to want to do is do your playtime rewards. You also want to do your daily tasks. You can also get diamonds from unlocking floors and things too. I don't know how much of that you'll be doing, but like the free collection is very helpful. Going around your cafe and collecting diamonds from your chest is what really is going to help too. You get quite a bit from your chest, so you just want to find these pink chests and open them up and you'll get some diamonds. You also get diamonds from the exchange stores, so you can buy them from whatever one is opened for that day. There's always one mini game that is closed, so just try to get the ones from your other exchange stores. There's three open. That's the main things I recommend to getting more diamonds, so hopefully you can complete that 003 Gudetama blueprint. The next thing you have to do is obtain 50 tickets. This seems very hard and might seem a little intimidating at first, but you can obtain 50 tickets in a day. I do have a video about how you can do that. I'll have that link down below and in the card because there is lots and lots of ways to get tickets and that video shows you every single thing you have to do to claim those tickets but it is possible to get this done in a day or two so you can check that off and get the stress even faster and the very very last thing you have to do is own 15 sanrio characters this one's actually pretty easy too you're going to be obtaining tickets to get that third task done anyways. The main thing you're gonna need is tickets, so that video will also be helpful for the 15 Sanrio character task if you don't have 15 Sanrio characters. And to get that, you wanna go over here to your ticket machine over by these capsule machines, and you wanna open up as many cards as you can to get 15 characters. You can get any one of these. You can get the green ones, the blue ones, the purple ones, the humans, the pink ones do not count because they are not Sanrio characters, but any of the other colored cards will work. There is 10 green ones, so you'll probably be able to get a few of the green ones. You should be able to get one or two of the blue ones, and then hopefully you can grab any purple ones that you need. Getting tickets and opening them is mainly what is going to help, but if we open a pack, let's see if we get any <gasps> yeah, we did! We got two Carolines. Sadly, the doubles don't count, so only one would count for this one. So I got one from just one opening, but I did get a blue. So let's open up another one and see if we can get... Oh, no, they're all humans. Sometimes that happens. You really do get a lot of human pulls. Let's try another one. Can we bet... Can we get a green? We got Monkichi from this one. So that is very, very nice. He will count since he is a green card. Oh my gosh, I got Spotty Dotty, Panda Apple. Monkichi won't count because I already got him. But right there, I got a few characters from just a few five card pulls. I would say 100 to 50 tickets will help you. And you can get 100 tickets in a couple days and open them up. So you should be able to check that one off pretty easily. The main thing you're just going to have to get is those tickets. But again, that 50 ticket video will show you how you can get those tickets and then you should be able to do that for a few days and then open them all up and I think you will probably get that one checked off in a day or two, maybe three. But that one's pretty easy since there is 10 of those green car characters and they're the easiest to get. You would just have to get five of the other ones. I think that covers every single one of those tasks. It seems like it's hard, but I promise you it's actually easier than you think. It's just going to take some time. You really just have to play the game. That's the point of the UGCs is so you guys play the game and can fill out all those tasks. So that is mainly what you're going to be doing is just playing Hello Kitty Cafe. It's a really, really fun game though. So working for it and stuff will be fun since this game is so much fun to play anyways and once you're done you get this super super cute dress it is so adorable there's only 20,000 to be claimed it's kind of easy to get so i do assume that this dress will go pretty soon 
So good luck guys. I hope you can get it before it's gone. It is super, super cute. I hope this video helps you claim it as fast as you can and you can get this super cute dress. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below and in the comments and I will try to answer them. I'm sure other people will be willing to answer them too, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!